this result isn't all that exciting. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Please pull the lever! Crap! I bit my tongue at the most important part! Ugh, it'd be bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll speak slowly. Judging from the results, you guys were correct once again. Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. That's right, the one who killed the robotic Nekomaru in the amazing funhouse was Gundam Tanaka. Nice. Yay! I said all that without biting my tongue. Now, then. now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get this over with. Hold on. It's true that class trial the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean the incident is over. We can't finish yet until we hear it from Gundam. <laughs> no matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either, so do whatever you like. Why do you want to talk to the one who is lost? The loser merely leaves. It would just be unnecessary for me to say something. Listen is well. what I would like to say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Correct? You guys said I made Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a great mistake. Huh? Nekomaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. D damn it! L lost and died? This, too, must be the will of Kasaki. If he was just trying to cling to life, there may... There... Mm, yep, I can read. There are many ways he could have done so. However, he did not allow that. You... What do you... Mm, God damn it, I'm derping all over. What do you mean? Explain. Fine, then. <laughs> then I shall reveal it all. Let's make Within history. the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the funhouse. And I devised a killing plan utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the tower. And this is what happened. Nekomaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. <laughs> I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood shit. That's exactly what he understood. The situation. And we had ourselves a stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away or even called for help. But he did not turn his back to me. Oh, okay, lady. Not feeling well? That's no good. Instead, he chose a fight that risked life and death. That a is... fight that risked life and death? Let he was serious, too. This. He gave it his all to try to kill me. Huh? <laughs> if I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. I can see it! Nobody would know that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Could it be? Nekomaru really did that? <laughs> and yes, Nekomaru. Sensing even my subtle killing intent. As expected of you, Nekomaru. It's the one that most understands poop. I like how that worked out. The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. 
been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Hmm, that's a great one. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> I am the Warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, Lords of Darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I do not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got. Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire. That is... Why? Why did you fight? We were all friends. Four Dark the Devas, yeah! <laughs> Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agreed, it was still wrong. <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. Let me However, I you must this. say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? You weakling! There's nothing courageous about that. That is abandonment. A mere feeling of resignation. Wait, are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather... Uh, oops, no, it's Hajime! Oh! <laughs> I'd rather have that happen to us. Now I'm laughing about it, which is really awkward. Starvation is not funny. Then have our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Fall Ever since we were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by that feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is simply a reason to give up. If you flinch, you Giving will up die. on life. That's just an insult to life itself. Let me Have ask. you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? Cannibalism? In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Listen, that well. is what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? I shall engulf if this If a world, world would consider that justice, then I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy toward life. I it is a violation you. of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. You. Are you saying all that to try to justify what you did? But, but it sounds like Nekomaru felt the same too. That's why they fought, right? Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. Regardless, <laughs> as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. But Fall, even so, my tears. don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime. Hey, you... what about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Unlike Let's Nagito, I only did it once, but... <laughs> compared to my battle with Nekomaru, that was mere child's play. You well, know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that... Well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, don't tell me you... You didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? <laughs> I cannot believe you would ask such a foolish question. My name is Gundam Tanaka! Just who do you think I am? I am Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. 
fade like dust Not in, in a the million, wind. not in a billion, not in ten thousand billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. Is that it? Then I'll just leave it at that. Now then, <laughs> let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. <laughs> Monokuma, let us begin. Yes, indeed. Yay! Got it! I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. Please, please. This, this is just too much! Please, Monokuma, please help Gundam! Huh? Miss Sonia, please, I beg of you! I beg of you. Help. Sonia. An act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Uh, Gundam! Hmm. Um, it's fine to start for reals, right? Yes, fine. I do not mind, however. What is it, my four dark devas of destruction? Are you worried now. about me? Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. However, there is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. I was simply visiting for a moment, and now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. That is why, until the very end, pride, conceit, courage, insolence, Fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing! Let us laugh uproariously! <laughs> that is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! Open Sesame Pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still lingered deep in our chests. Don't give up on life. 
Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it! I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. Damn you all spent so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up like this. You're all full of shit. Every last one of you. The biggest piece of shit is me. Damn it. Why am I so weak? Oh. It's such a downer, clearly. But still. Even though we feel this way, we still gotta do our very best. You are right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not... You are right. Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and presume he will be and I presume he will be very cross with us. You're right. You're right. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. So don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't. We dear yeah, gla We can't allow that. Goddamn mistakes. It's all hey, emotional. Hey. So how long are you guys gonna stand around chattering? The class trial is over, so it's okay for you to hurry back over to Jabberwock Island. <laughs> However, the killing school trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Wait! Hold on! How... how much longer are you going to keep doing this? Seriously, how long is he going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Now then. Alright, <laughs> after feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, Hold on a sec, that mood shift is too damn fast. It's well, you know, like it's like Gundam and Nekomaru said. <laughs> That's what it means to live, right? Huh. She's certainly something else. But <laughs> seriously, I'm starving. Hey, then, hey. let's go back for now and eat. And then, after we're full, let's sleep as much as we want. And then, let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. With this, the class trial has come to an end, and once again, we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial. But at that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about... ...was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. Yep, <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian Roulette. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. And before everyone else, too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way the file had just Hajime's information. Well, I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> anyway, I can't forgive this. Damn. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. It's for the obvious. sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. 
Monokuma appears! All right! Monokuma has arrived! Who summoned me? Thanks for coming. Why, it's the lonely little Nagito! Are you all alone tonight, too? What's so what's up? Your face looks scary. I see. So you can so you can tell. Ah, perhaps you found out who the traitor is? You know me well. Is what I'd like to say, but unfortunately I haven't learned that yet. I see. So even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. So, why'd you summon me anyway? Were you finally gonna confess your love? Hey. I summoned you, because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Oh yeah? What about it? There was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? Say What's what? weird? Well, there's a traitor know. from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that person, the total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't but that this right? file contains documents that were created at Hope's Peak Academy, right? Of That's course. right! I just reused the stuff that the former headmaster spent a lot of time making! What? This file even contains information about the traitor. Was that person also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy? Knows. I wonder. Hey. Could it be? Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Oh. That's not my point. My what? point is, you already know who the traitor is. What's wrong with that? You're getting all Well, you're up. splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? It's just like Monomi after losing her magic stick. The traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. Their existence means nothing, huh? No. Well, that's no. just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. After all, that person is the evil future foundation lackey who's putting you guys through this awful stuff. <sighs> That's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. Instead, <laughs> I came here to offer my cooperation, you know? Cooperation? Your hey. purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep, yep! yep. If that's the case, I want to be able to cooperate somewhat too. However, what? in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. I hmm. see. Interesting. Very interesting. No, no, Obviously, no. that's a big no-no. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you, too. Whoa. Well, I knew you would say that. Besides, I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> just as I thought, you saw right through me. No matter what the situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, stepladders such as myself in despair exist. <laughs> You're right! You're a true believer of hope after all. I must say, that belief... Reminds me of that person for some reason. Huh? Reminds you? I don't know who you're talking about, but if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, they must be extremely unlucky. Lie. But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Am oh. I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Say huh? what? You don't Wouldn't know? you say that coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one who does it. If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. I'll become an existence that could even be called ultimate hope. 
<laughs> the two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? Who are you waiting for on this island? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Well, hey. answer my question. The if that's... if that's the case, if that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> Interesting. That was a lot of important plot stuff. So if you're interested in the plot, I definitely recommend you do not miss the next time I stream this because it will be very important. Obtained a present, Hellhound Earring. So yeah, um, if you really follow this for the plot, you're gonna want to see the next time I stream this. It's a very, very important chapter. But for now, that is all for that. It's okay, Quinny. Hmm. To do it on a weekend so you don't miss it? I can arrange that if weekend's better. I don't mind. Do you want me to play some Persona 4 Golden? Or should I head straight into Saints Row the Third? I know I didn't play Golden last time, that's why I'm asking. Oh, good night, lady. I hope you feel better. Take good care of yourself. Yep, it peels. Peel. Yes, please, some Persona 4 Golden. Okay. Oh, that's okay, Musical. No worries. Oh, those puns. Doodle 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 doo. Doodle doo. So are we going to have Doodle, Faku, and and Saint Mullet, which you guys have all named my character in Saints Row. Saint Mullet, even though she no longer has a mullet and is no longer a dude. <laughs> Good night, musical.